Hi, and welcome to Meetings in Math. I am so glad you're here today to learn about graphing linear equations and specifically graphing it with slope intercept form. It is your turn to write an essential question, but your learning goal for today is to graph a line from an equation written in slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. Today, you're going to need your Jaguar jots on section 4.4, a pencil and a straight edge is super important. A pen and a highlighter might be helpful and your determination and your perseverance. So let's go ahead and get started right now. So after today's lesson, you should be able to write your own essential question based on the information that we've been going through. Remember your essential question should be able to be answered by the notes that we took. So I think you have the ability to do that. And remember what we are doing today is we are graphing an equation using slope intercept form. So the X <laughs> intercept is the X coordinate of the point where the line crosses the X axis. And the Y intercept is the Y coordinate of the point where the line crosses the Y axis. So what I have here is a very, very generic X and Y coordinate plane without much written on it. The one thing we do need to add is we need to add which ones are X axis and which ones are Y axis so that we are oriented the right way. This is just a line. And now we're going to add which ones are X intercept and our Y intercept so that we're able to read it. So this right here would be our Y intercept and the coordinate is written like this zero B and it's called the Y intercept and you will see it equals B a lot. It'll super important that you get that and that you see it. And then this one right here is a zero and it is your X intercept and it's equal to a. We use it, but not as often as we use the Y intercept. The Y intercept is one we use all the time. So slope intercept form is a way for us to represent the equation of a line. And this one is like something you will have to memorize, like completely memorize. And it is y equals mx plus b. So there are some certain things here you already know. For instance, I know you know this one already, that m is the slope. I know you already know that one because we've used it so much. b, you just learned, b is the y-intercept. And then x and y are points on the line. They are going to stay x and y always. We're only replacing M and B. So X and Y are all of the points on the line. So they have to stay the variables X and Y. So we're going to begin with something we've already done before, which is graphing from a table. So when I graph Y equals three X from a table, um, I want to see what happens. So, y equals 3x, um, when it's negative 2, 3 times negative 2 is a negative 6, 3 times negative 1 is a negative 3, 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 2 is 6. So I want to graph those points. I've already set up my coordinate plane along with my scale. So negative 2, negative 6. So go ahead and do that and then come back. Okay, and now let's look at the next one. All I did to get the next one was I took this number and then I added seven. Do you see that? Three X plus seven. So I'm just gonna take negative six and add seven to it and I get one. Negative three plus seven would be a four. Zero plus seven is seven. Three plus seven is 10. Six plus seven is 13. And now I'm gonna graph that one. So go ahead and pause and do that and come back. So remember when we did slopes, we said, hey, when the slopes are the same, the lines are parallel. These are parallel lines. Do you remember that? And we also talked about just shifting things. Look at this. I went from zero to seven. 
went from, that's all I did. I just shifted this up seven. So my line, which was here, it just went up seven. And so this is the Y intercept. And so I just shifted my whole graph up seven. That was it. Just shifted. Everything went up seven. So this is really important that we understand that. Whereas all the points shifted up seven, including the Y intercept. Well, do you remember Y equals MX from the last one? And now it's Y equals MX plus B. That's the difference. Before we started at zero, zero, and now we're going to start at B. That is the whole lesson right there. We last lesson started at zero, zero, and then moved however the slope told us to move. Now we're going to start at B and then move how it told us to move. I like to remember it this way. So B is the y-intercept, right? B also starts with begin. M is the slope. It's also move. So B is going to tell us where to begin and M is going to tell us how to move. Go ahead and set up your coordinate plane with the scale and the orientation. Okay, so the way that I like to start these is actually just writing down the point or the pieces that I have. So M is equal to three fifths, which means up three and write five. It's up three because it's positive and then it's always to the right. And then I have negative five and it's always on the Y axis. So the one that, go, that goes up and down. So I'm gonna start at negative five and I'm gonna put a dot. And then it goes up three and right five. So up three, so one, two, three, and then over five, one, two, three, four, five. I put a dot. I can do more if I want to. I can reverse it if I want to. So if I want to reverse, it'd be down and left. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I lost my count. One, two, three, four, five. The line goes all the way through though. It goes from one edge of the graph to the other. And then that's it. You're always gonna write these down. This is always the point zero and then the number. Okay, this one, identify your M and your B. Then come on back. Okay, so M is negative three over four. The negatives always go up to the top. So it's going to be down because it's negative and it's always to the right and B is going to be two, so it's always zero and then the number. So one, two, and then it's gonna go down three. So one, two, three, and then to the right four. One, two, three, four. I could do more if I wanted. I could stair step this all the way out this way and all the way out that way until I have all of them done, but two is good enough. Oh, I wanna do another one. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. There we go. All the way through the graph. So this next one's kind of hard because it doesn't say y equals mx plus b. It just says y plus three, but that's okay. I just solve it for y. So I'm gonna subtract three off both sides. So y equals negative six x minus three. Now it says y equals mx plus b. So m is equal to negative six and b is equal to negative three. So that is zero negative three. Now that negative six might be a little like eh, to some of you, that's okay. Whole numbers always sit over one. So this is going to be down six and write one. It's gonna be a very, very funny looking graph. So we are going to start at negative three. One, two, three. And then we are going to go down six and right one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and right one. It's a very steep graph. One, two, three, four, five, six, and backwards one, because I reversed it. It was so steep, I decided I wanted another point. I couldn't go this way, so I reversed it. Super steep graph. 
Okay, so that right there, that is graphing equations with slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. What I would like you to do tonight is I would like you to write y equals mx plus b at least five times so that you can start memorizing it. You have to have that thing memorized. And I can't wait until I see you in the next lesson. And remember, be kind to each other because we can always use some extra kindness in our lives. Bye for now.